I think we're breaking overnight. A load of passengers stranded for hours at the bus station in Raleigh. Now, CBS 17's Darren Todd live there this morning. Darren, you've been talking to folks. What's going on out there? Hey, good morning, Haley and Randy. Pas passengers actually tell me what was supposed to be a 15-minute stop turned into a two-hour delay. Now, one of those passengers tell me that the Greyhound bus arrived here in Raleigh from New York City at around 1 o'clock this morning. Now, the passenger says that the driver told them to get off of the bus and leave their items. Then she says that the driver locked the bus and left. Now, well, what happened, ended up, she ended up, they ended up leaving 40 people, including kids, inside the parking lot. But the scariest part of all of this is for her when she realized that her son's charger to his oxygen tank was left locked on the bus. It's terrifying. I, my kid is my life, you know, and it's, I'm, I'm very, very upset with the way things have went. Now, EMS was later called to assist with the medical need until the bus terminal opened this morning at 3.30. Now, the, as you can see, these people are still here. We did reach out to Greyhound for a response, but we've yet to hear something back. I did also try reaching out to representative, actually, when I seen them unloading some of the items from that bus, and they say they're unsure as to what happened as well. Now, Ms. Palmer says that she's just trying to get back home to Tennessee. Live here in Raleigh, Darren Todd, CBS 17 I know that has to be so frustrating. we got to get some answers on this one. Darren, thanks.